guys, it's Xenia9611 here, and welcome to a new special tutorial. Uh, so today we're going to be doing a plane. I don't think I've done a plane yet. I've done helicopters. Don't think I've done a plane. I'm not as good at planes as I am, or air vehicles as I am ground vehicles. Let's just get that get that straight first. So this is the World War One uh, fighter, British one-seater fighter plane <clears throat> that stopped with Camel, which was pretty much the iconic plane that you probably know of when you think of World War One planes, you think of the Camel. Um, or well, at least I do. So, uh, this is it. I've got the propeller, the wooden propeller, the little gray engine area, we got the two guns, the wings with the braces on them, um, ladder to get up the this is supposed to be the British target thing because it's got the red, then the white, then the blue. But, you know, so. Best I could do. Whatever. Um, we got the tail, which I'm gonna just do that. No, 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 that does not look good. <laughs> we have the, uh, the little tail here. You know what? I think it was fine how I had it. <laughs> um, and we have. The targets that are on the wings, which again, not the best, but best I could do for this area. So yeah, um, let's get on to the tutorial. So I'm gonna throw that away real quick, and we're gonna start over here with our two little wheels, one apart. Your plane's gonna be facing this way. Um, we're gonna match up with this plane, like I always do in my tutorials, just so. Uh, you guys can see what we're building, I can see what I'm building. <laughs> you know, helps out both parties. So, these are your wheels. I'm gonna start out just with this and this. Uh, iron bars are so much harder to work with now that they're just one little thing. Alright, and we're gonna come up. Just like that. Okay, and uh, then we can come up with up here, and this is actually going to be the gray part, <clears throat> and we're just going to come up like this, and actually we're going to punch out this, 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 and this, nope, there we go, and forward one. And then we have a brown stained clay up front with a button on it, and we'll go ahead and do the propellers. So, the propeller is actually pretty simple. It's just a stair, upside down. So, you're going to need blocks, uh, and then one right side up on it, also. And you can do it wait, either way. <clears throat> but I like to do it to match up. And then, so we're going to need blocks. Like this. And that. And there we are. Nope. There we go. And one more. So I think we can do this one. No. Oh yeah, that's right, we gotta do this. Okay, and that. Nope. There we are. And there is your little propeller. I think the propeller looks actually pretty, uh, pretty nice that way. And then we move into this little brown wood section, but I'm not gonna do it in wood because that would look bad. Uh, we're gonna do stone brick slab right here. And here. And dark oak slabs where the ground is. And we can just bring this out. I did just make this plane, so forgive me if I'm a little rusty. In fact, uh, we did put it one forward. So we did something wrong. I'm not sure, but we can just slap these forward one real quick. Not too difficult. Ah, 
or more difficult than it sounds. <laughs> um, and we're just gonna bring this up one into here. There we are. And there we are. We can do a slab right here. Nope, nope, nope. There. And there. Starting to look more like the plane. We're going to bring this back. Two more. There we are. And we are also going to, to start the green. The green starts around here. And we can just bring this back a bit. Actually, um, bring this back. Six. So, one, two, three, four, five, and six. There we are. So, right now it's not looking that great, but it'll get better. And then we're, we can start the wings, which start right in the brown, and they are three wide. The seven long, so two, three, four, five, six, seven. In the other side, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So, right now, your plane should be looking about like that. <clears throat> and let's see, right around here, we're going to just bring this up. Bit with one brown right there, and that should be your little cockpit sort of thing, right there. Should be good. I think we can break those for now, and we can put these here for now. Actually, no, we we do keep these here because we can go ahead and do it. Actually, I think we can uh, put the no no ah. Guns. What did I break? Didn't I break something? I did. Right there. Okay, I'm gonna make sure that is correct real quick. Not quite. Uh, so the guns do go here, except they start right here, and then two forward. Perfect. Okay. There's your two machine guns. As you can see, they would shoot uh, through the propeller. Now, if you're wondering how that works, which I wondered for a long time, uh, it's because inside the gearbox of the plane and the engine, um, they connected the guns to the gearbox so that every time it's on a turn of a propeller, like right here, they would shoot. So it had a pretty consistent fire rate in between each propeller swing sort of thing, like each um, fin. Or I don't know what it, you want to call those. And actually, this uh, particular plane only had two. So, if you want to keep two, whatever. But, um, actually, if you are going to keep two, it'd probably look better if you kept side two. Maybe. We'll see when we're done. <laughs> Okay, um, so right here we're going to place two blocks like that, and then down and over just like that, and don't break this quite yet. Just do that, and you get your little supports, and that is two blocks from here, right here. Just do this. I did just make this tutorial, like, a, or this plane, just design it, so. Sorry if I, uh, don't, you know, am a little at a loss. <clears throat> and we can do some ladders. Right on this side. And we'll go ahead and place our slabs. Uh, here. Let's see, dark oak for the brown, and stone brick for here too. There we are. That's looking better every day. 
Uh, we're actually going to come down with this and make it another ladder, just so it's a little easier to get up. Because even from the ground here, you can't really get up. Unless you, you know, obviously you're going to have steps in an airfield or something, or in real life you'd be able to, like, you know, jump up there. Parkour! <laughs> Alright, um, we can go ahead and do the second wing, I guess. And you just kind of start and copy the other wing. Now on the real one, it's staggered a little bit forward, but that'd be hard to do since we're kind of building it, um, not on a small scale, but smaller than it would be to make it that detailed in Minecraft. So, I'd have to make it bigger or just make it look kind of bad, like ugly, or... <laughs> And that's never fun. So we're gonna go ahead and do the tail. And you're gonna do a stone brick stair right there. And green clay right here. With blue. Oh, I must have threw away blue. Grab it real quickly. Um, blue here. Up three. And then white two. Red two. And then we have the um, actually I did bring these down, but they are covered up by the fins, or the, the back fin, because I did have one that just was very, very small. Very small. Um, right, and so, oh, and the little white piece right here, because it had, it was red, white, blue, white, and I had like a bigger piece here, but this is a little over-exaggerating the size of it, but whatever. Who cares much? <laughs> if you like this back like it is, you can keep it that way. But I'm going to make it a bit bigger. And then just place the stairs like this. I think that gives it a more filled-out look. Uh, the When it's not there, it does make it more plain-like, but, you know, your choice. Uh, I think it makes the tail look better that way. <clears throat> so we can go ahead and do the finishing touches here. Uh, take this. Alright, so uh, for your little targets, you just need your blue clay, your white clay, and red clay. So, what did I do? One block from the back here, and you start your three, or three by three. Uh, you're gonna have blue on the outside, but I just fill it in. Do your red, and then your white. And then same on the other side. And we'll do the same on the underside also. So just like that. Red in the middle, white right here. And then we'll do the same under here. Shaders makes everything look great. I am so happy that shaders is a thing. <laughs> Alright, and one more. So we'll do blue. And we'll do red and white. There we are. There's your uh, main, the big targets. And so now uh, we'll do the wheels real quick. Actually, first before we do the wheels, we'll get out slabs and just do a little um, uh, thing at the back, which is like the little slide. So that the plane tilts, plane tilts backwards. So I'm not going to build it that way. If you want, you can just bring this down a block from, like, right here. But I'm not going to build it that way. This is in flight mode, I guess you could say. But, like I said, from here, bring it down a block. And, uh, you should get, like, your little tilt. Or, like, from here. But I think it'll look good right from here to here. Uh, we'll do the reels, wheels real quickly before we do the other stuff. So, just place an item frame, white hardened clay, and button. So item frame, hardened clay, and then in the corner, 
button so it pops up. <clears throat> so now we have the banner part, which I'll show you how to do real quickly. Grab yourself a white banner and some red rose dye. So we only need one of that. One red rose dye. Need some lapis. And that's pretty much it. So you just take in the crafting table, put your white banner, and your rose red. You get that. And then you do your border. And you have the small target that you can put on the sides of the craft. Or I guess I did them. I knew I did them one away. Right there. And that is your Subway's Camel. I did hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, it, it, it definitely looks way better. Way, 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 way better with the four. Um, the, the four propellers. Crap, I did that wrong. But whatever you guys want to do with that, that's your choice to be accurate or to be uh, good looking. <laughs> That's pretty much what it is. I mean, sorry, but it is. And I guess if you are going to keep them, do keep the top two. Or you could do it diagonal, which might be a little awkward. But, you know, your choice. Um, so I'm going to come in front of this one. Hope you guys did enjoy. Please leave a like if you did. And, um, yeah. Uh, Maybe I'll do some more World War One planes or some other planes. I'll try out some other planes. Alright, see you guys in the next one. Zaniac out.